people are asking for um, recommendations of the of the of the month. That's right. So we already did the recommendation for Wondrium, Armin. You did that last time too, and that's uh, you gonna I'm gonna sell the time. Yeah. No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do another course on Wondrium that I'm taking. I'm, I'm gonna move to next. This is going to be my recommendation. Go for it. Do your recommendation. I'll do mine after. All right. So last week, uh, last month, I told you guys that I'm going to ch um, take this course on Wondrium. Again, guys, if you're going to, if you guys want to take Wondrium courses, um, link in the description. Use our affiliate link. So, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to, what course I'm going to take after I'm done with this one. I'm almost done with this one. So the, this course I took, uh, I'm taking is called the Middle East in the 20th Century. Uh, is being taught by this professor. Uh, Emmanuel Garion, right? I don't know. So from the University of London and John Hopkins University, he's a really good lecturer. He makes he makes he turns these like historical events. He turns them into he starts them with the story, and then he gives you the fact, and he ends up with the story. Ooh. Makes it so easy, so Monarchist. easy to consume. We were right, told so that they, with number five there. Number five. Number. I want to do that one. It says monarchies, monarchies. of the twentieth century Middle East. Yes, the, yeah, the history of the that. Muslim Brotherhood. Okay, so you can see I'm you, you can see by these yellow bars that I've taken all of these. I'm right now on lecture number seventeen. The next lecture I'm taking is the Iraq Iran Iraq War, right? So it goes all the way to the Arab Spring. It starts from uh, World War One and the nationalism that started. It goes all the way to the history of the Middle East to uh, to war, to the Arab Spring. Okay. So I'm almost done with this. I think I'm going to be done with this this week. And the next, have you uh, done that one? Gonna... The, are democracy and Islam compatible? That looks interesting. I wonder what's no, taking. No, that has. Oh, actually, some of you are going to get butt hurt. Like he is kind of like a Islam apologist. Apologist, right? That's but, okay. Yeah, but yeah, that's okay. I've learned to like um, accept. You know, he's like a university professor. Of course, he's an Islam apologist, right? But you have to go past the butt hurt and actually could learn the content. Okay, so go don't past the butt let, hurt. You go past the part and actually learn what these, these are. There are a lot of important <laughs> facts here. Okay, he is a, he is a like, yeah. So he when he was talking about Sayyid Qutb and his like rad, radicalism, and he keeps making excuses for why this is not Islamic. Okay, and I'm like, you haven't read. Okay, you know your history. You don't know your Islam, but it's okay. I still learn a lot of things from you. So once I'm done with this, I'm gonna move to another course. This is the next course I'm taking on Wondrium: Capitalism versus Socialism, and this is being taught by another well. Another university professor, Edward Stewart. This is oh my god, this guy is going to be so good. Okay, so you can see his credentials. You can see the guidebook that it comes with. This is twenty-four uh, lectures. So oh, the reason why I'm taking this lecture next, capitalism versus socialism, because I'm going to turn my own person. Eventually, I'm going to turn my own personal channel into um, a pro-capitalist, anti-communist channel. Right. So I'm going to make communism. A a communism a target of mine and i'm going to go after it i'm given especially that, that that's my degree ali like i make so much content and i don't make much content relevant to the degrees that i have right i have like a finance degree right mm. so i like and i'm seeing how communism is making a comeback in among young people um is you know and i think like they don't understand what they're supporting uh so and i don't see i see a lot of con channels out there supporting communism and attacking capitalism there's not that much content creators focusing on you know not not far like every single pro-capitalism content creator i see is pure cringe like they don't it's like far right or right-leaning like people that are that are supporting capitalism from an idealistic not not like facts and data and like economic data they just have this ideological loyalty to everything that is in their tribe and they don't like they don't they defend it because this is because of tribalism and it's just they just make defense of, of capitalism so cringe and religious like so i just want to make it like something that is more you know yeah coming from, a, a, a defense of capitalism coming from a leftist do you know what i mean Somebody yeah i think that that's because, that 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 yeah. I think would be fantastic because like there's a you need things like that you need like a defense of capitalism coming from the left leftist yeah. you need because because what's happening yeah what's happening right now is this that a lot of it is reactionary you know when you it's like what you were saying about free speech every time you hear about a free speech rally you feel like it's gonna be some insane right wing thing and ninety percent of the time you're yeah be right and that doesn't mean and now you know then the what what do the leftists do they're like okay yeah we really need to we really need to think rethink free speech no you don't. 
you don't need to rethink free speech. It's just a, a reactionary thing to this is this is what the tribalistic sort of loggerheads um, situation does. So it's uh, you know. It's, so uh, guys, by the way, I want to warn you about something because One Dream has always like it used to be called the Great Courses, and it used to be that always they had like university lecturers and university professors and academics teaching recently they're bringing on some wackos to teach some courses um so you know so just make sure that you you actually do check the details and do check who who is the person that is teaching the course okay so i i just want to be honest with you because i don't want to like endorse one uh, every single course in one dream right um but anyways if you do want to check out one dream and take their courses again they have science courses biology chemistry history philosophy quantum physics um arts drawing editing writing book publishing anything you could think of they have a course for it and they're expanding their courses really really fast so check the affiliate link guys don't go don't don't listen to this and go check out one dream without actually you doing the affiliate link link is in the description check out affiliate the affiliate link it helps us um it really does help us if you use our, the affiliate link in the description ali your what's your recommendation my recommendation is going to be so this is going to be a lot lighter than this and a lot more, I guess, uh, less intellectually. Well, I can, actually, it might just be equivalent. Um, there's a comedian who's a very, very young man. I think he's 28 years old. Just turned 28 a couple of years, a couple of days ago. His name is Pete Davidson. So I've been watching a lot of his stuff, and he's absolutely brilliant. He's really interesting. He's got a very unique style. Uh, so a lot of you guys know that I'm a huge stand-up comedy buff, and I've talked about it before here. So, and, and I've been, you know, I think most of you know him. He's on. He's been on Saturday Night Live. He's the one who. You know when the R. Kelly accusations came out, what R. Kelly was doing you know, with the kids, he came out and he, he did this whole uh, segment on on Saturday Night Live about, hey, you know, I I know people shouldn't be isn't listening to R. Kelly a little bit like following the Catholic Church. So he just talked about how we're canceling all these people like R. Kelly and Michael Jackson. So shouldn't we be canceling the Catholic Church? And he joked mm -hmm. about it, and it was fantastic. And he pissed off the Catholic Church and a lot of Catholics because of it. Uh, he's just a very, very refreshing voice. You know, one of those guys. So I've been nice. re-watching his uh, stand-up specials. He also is a very weird, lanky-looking, tall guy. He dated Ariana Grande. And then, you know, it was... Uh, he, and he jokes about those kinds of things, too. His, fa his father also... His father died in 9-11. He was a firefighter in 9-11. So he makes uh, some... He makes a lot of jokes about that, too, about his father's death. Uh, so he's... A, a, there's just... It's just a very, very genuine, um, precocious talent and extremely, extremely smart. So, yeah. Ali likes all of Pete Davidson's girlfriend. I can't keep track of Pete Davidson's girlfriends. And I know that recently he was hanging out with Kim Kardashian. But, yeah, apparently this guy is like a he's – a, he's a goofy-looking guy. But uh, he – I can see the appeal. I mean, he's dated some really, really high-profile people. He's only oh. 28. I, I think that's secondary. So, is, Hi, Marge. Uh, no, but Marge really, saying, I'm more about the comedy. The comedy is excellent. Actually, Marge, uh, you're right. Mars is like, oh, shit, they rebranded. Re yes, I forgot Wondrium, to mention. Right? I, yeah, because actually I should peop tell people that Wondrium is formerly, basically the Great co Courses rebranded. Because I, I think a lot of people know the Great Courses. They just don't know Wondrium is just the Great Courses. Yes, Mars. Mm -hmm. thank you for reminding me to tell people that. Hey, guys, if you want to join these streams live, Get your comments and questions read by Ali and Armin and the guests. And most importantly, to get full access to the full video versions of all these episodes, become a patron. Link in the description below.